Gentlemen, welcome to CatCast episode number 944. Nope, 494. 944 would be very impressive. That's a ways away. I know. That's We're going to be really old when that happens. It'll be a month away from my 50th birthday. Wait, I even wrote down an intro for you, Wombat. Should I say it or I already blew it? Yes, go say it. Go ahead. As always... Here's a man who had no intention of streaming Persona 5 until he was told he couldn't. Wombat. Yeah, next time, skip it. Yeah, it wasn't that good. Fart no, joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, it, and it sounded too much like you were reading it. I it's know. better when you do it off the top of your head. But then I usually fuck it up. I, I mean, off the top, I wrote that like three seconds ago. <laughs> it was basically <laughs> just so I don't fluffer through it, thumper through it. Yes. I don't know. Well, welcome to the show, everybody. I've pretty much fucked it up already, but can't, we can't start over now. We're on top of That's our game. That's okay. How's everything going, Wombat? Things are things. I have no major complaints. Shipwreck, do you have any complaints? Mm, uh, about Wombat? <laughs> sure. Probably. Those are the best. Okay, so... Oh, God. <laughs> you know what's sad is I know where you're going with this. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I know, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so Monday afternoon, Wombat excitedly texts me, wondering if I was a like founding member of EA Access. And I was like, Yeah, I I, I was. And he's like, Oh, well, they've been sending out hard drives to to the founding members. So you should check when you get home. I get home, there's no hard drive. Nothing. Next day, no hard drive. Now this is the third day, and Still no hard drive. And I, I'm gonna guess isn't my fault. I no, don't work for EA. I just it's saw your that fault they because you brought it up in the first place. <laughs> well, if anyone gets these things in the mail, it's always you. That's not generally true. That is always true. Well, because GP has GP has won stuff before. You've won stuff before, Wombat. Yeah, not cool stuff like that though. Well, well I did not get this either. So, so there you go. It, it's a situation Welcome where the- I've been completely oblivious for it. You you alerted me to the situation, and now it's a disappointment. And now you don't even need you don't even need that, don't you? Have I was enough gonna hard say drives? you don't even need a hard drive. What would you uh, do? I, with I it? would plug it into my PS4. I haven't I haven't done the external dr- hard drive on my PS4 yet. I think that's oh. illegal. If you get a if you get a free hard drive for EA Access for yeah, Xbox, I, yeah. I, I mean, I would have switched one of the ones I had on Xbox already. Right there, you go. Otherwise, they come to your house and beat you. Oh, so it uh, sounds like everyone's having a really exciting time. Yep. Congrats all you access a, users oh, that got a hard drive. Yeah. I had a migraine yesterday for the first time in about two years. Stress. It was. Oh, no. I, you don't need to tell me why I had the migraine. <laughs> I told you last week no why you had the back pain. Yeah. The, yeah. It's like it moved from my back to my head and that not just my head, but like right behind my eyeball. Right, that's because I exposed the fact, uh, the reason that your back was hurting. So then it it moves somewhere else. Once you, once you're onto it, it just it changes locations. I'm not even joking. Yes. So I sat in the dark for two hours. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. Where? In my living room. Didn't the rest of the family think it was weird? Well, it was after everyone went to bed. Oh. Oh, I weird. tried to watch the last two episodes of Arrow, which sort of made me angrier. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a bigger headache. Yeah. Like, why would I? That show is so bad. It's just bad. Well, we're not up to that part of the show yet. No, sorry. Anyway, go on. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's worse than Iron Fist, isn't it? Oh, it is worse than, it is worse yes. than Iron Fist. But I, I feel like there's still redemption in that show. That's the problem. I keep watching it because I keep saying to myself, they're going to fix it. Yeah. I stopped years ago and I realized they weren't going to fix it. But you're right. The next time you get a headache or some medical problem, I have uh, some information for you that could help you and maybe our listeners too. Uh, Mrs. Chibi was feeling pretty sick this weekend. She had like a uh, stomach problem. Like uh, she thought she had like a stomach virus or something. And she was very weak. She couldn't eat. And alien? Was it an alien? It was not an alien, as far as I okay. know. Um, 
And by Sunday, she's like, maybe I should go to the doctor, but like, I'm in a lot of pain and like just moving around hurts. Like, I think I'd have a really bad time if you took me to a clinic and I had, you know, we had to get in the car and drive there and then, you know, wait there. So I was like, didn't, I thought I had read that there was some app that you could use to talk to a doctor. And I jokingly said to her like, oh, there's probably an app for that. And then I looked it up and sure enough, I found one that had like, a, you know, really good reviews on iTunes. God, I even, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> That's not, oh man, I got to look that up. Um, but we used it and it's really cool. Like you, you, you know, you sign up for the service, they charge you $59 for a doctor's visit and insurance, depending on the insurance you have, it might cover some or all of that. And, you know, basically you fill out this thing and you wait for a few minutes and then all of a sudden you have like a video conference on your phone with a real doctor and they give you, you know, you tell what you, you know, you explain what's going on and they, they stay with you on the conference until you feel like you've got, you know, your, all your questions answered. And now, it was, I have never used this app, but I'm going to assume that when the doctor first appears, he goes, Hi, everybody. <laughs> In fact, take off all your clothes. No, it was a, it was a female doctor, and okay. I didn't actually see. I didn't, you know, I didn't watch. He, the video he didn't conference. ask for pictures of her virgina and butthole. <laughs> no, no, but she, but Mrs. Cheapy said that the doctor was incredibly good looking, that she could have been a model. So it wasn't Doc, Doctor Nick Riviera. But anyway, hey, everybody, that's like a, like we're living in the future now. We have doctors on our phones that can treat us, and they can prescribe medicine. They can. Well, Shipwreck has one in his house, like all the time. Well, an animal doctor, kind of. I'm not. I'm not going to her <laughs> for like my medical. What medicine. is this? <laughs> you have too few legs. We got to get you to the uh, hospital immediately. <laughs> now, uh, now I, I feel bad that I don't know the name iTunes Doctor app because it was really good, and I want to recommend it. It wasn't Amwell. That's a, that's it's called Amwell. One word: A M W E L L. Uh, yeah, sounds so shady. But I'm it sure it's fine. It's not. I mean, it, so didn't, it wasn't. Sh- I mean, it's the concept sounds shady, but once you look at it, that's what I mean. The concept yeah. sounds super shady. But I, I, you know, I went. I, you know, I checked it out to make sure you it was don't legit. need that liver. <laughs> Just put it in the mailbox. Did you go to Hollywood Upstairs Medical School too? <laughs> No, it was really impressive, and it made Mrs. Chibi feel a lot better because she knew what was going on, and we didn't have to go anywhere, and it saved the day. So yeah, go smartphones. Woohoo! 